people on the outside. Stormy. Husky. Brawling. City of Big Shoulders. Chicago. About if ever there was a such thing as a regular viewer of The Life After, they would notice what has become an ongoing theme in recent episodes. I simply don't have enough time to explore every asset of the featured city. My visit to Chicago is a continuation of that theme. But what I did get to see, I'm going to show you. Uh, most of it anyway. First up, Wrigley Field, Cubs Dodgers. There's not much missing from a Cubs game at Wrigley. Historic venue, classic dogs, and oh, the faithful Chicago sports fan. How do I love thee? The only thing missing is a Cubs victory. Alas, the curse of the Billy Goat continues. Magnificent Mile, a portion of Michigan Avenue that runs from the Chicago River to Oak Street on the north side of the city. This stretch of Michigan Avenue certainly lives up to its name, the Chicago Water Tower, one of the only buildings left standing after the Great Chicago Fire in 1871. The Wrigley Building, Trump Tower, further down there's Millennium Park, home to Cloud Gate, or as it's more affectionately known, the Bean. All of this exploring throughout my entire stay in Chicago was done on foot or by subway, even to the airport, not a single cab. Something I don't think I could do in New York City. Which leads me to what I've been avoiding all episode, the comparison of Chicago and New York. With two cities as great as these, comparing them is almost inevitable, especially when one of the city's unofficial ranking of second is already well known. And just to be clear, I will not be declaring a champion. That's something I don't think I can do, or anyone else for that matter. But looking out from the 95th floor of the Hancock Tower, it's difficult to imagine Chicago as second to any city. It's a great city. Stormy, Husky, Brawling, City of Big Shoulders. 